Hi guys, David here and welcome to BTEC. And this is an unboxing of Huawei's new P30 Lite. So I've done quite a bit of work with the other two devices in the P30 series, the Huawei P30 and the Huawei P30 Pro. But this is the entry level version of that handset and it comes in at a price of £329. Being a P series phone, I'm expecting it to be very good in the photography department. But before all that, let me say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service and thanks to their comparison tools, you're bound to find a great deal on your next handset. Just check down in the video description below for a link or you can just search directmobiles.co.uk. It is a, actually a very good looking handset. This one is the Peacock Blue. It also comes in Midnight Black and in Pearl White. Peacock Blue being quite a good description for this one. I love what it does to the light. Also in the box, the usual bits and pieces, the SIM ejection tool. There's no case in this one for some reason, but that could be region specific. You may get one depending on where you're from. In here, we've also got the power brick, a USB type C cable, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone. So the P30 Lite is working with a 6.1 inch IPS LCD display with 1080 by 2312 resolution in a 19.3 by 9 aspect ratio. It's got 415 pixels per inch and minimal bezels with the 32 megapixel front facing camera inside the dewdrop style notch. No fancy in display fingerprint scanner here. The biometrics touchpad is around the back and ironically, it's probably going to be the fastest of the three. Also at the back here, you'll find a triple camera system a 48 megapixel main with an f1.8 lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with an extra wide 13 millimeter equivalent focal length and f2.4 brightness. Quite a bit wider than the 16 millimeter lens that is found on the other P-series phones. The third lens is a two megapixel depth sensor for portrait and aperture shots. No lack of branding on any of these lenses. It is a very different camera system than the other P-series phones. The P30 Lite runs on the mid-range Kirin 710 AI processor with a respectable 4GB of RAM and 128GB of onboard storage. Pretty decent specs really. Power comes from a 3340mAh battery and it comes with EMUI 9 overlaid, not 9.1 that you find in the other two phones. Looks wise, and I like how they have kept the design language flowing through the three phones. It does resemble its more expensive siblings but it does have a slightly more generic look, I guess you could say, but it's not a bad looking phone at all. Underneath there is USB Type-C connectivity and for some people, the all important headphone jack, as well as the down firing mono speaker. They've kept the chamfered off top and bottom edges that we saw on the other two phones, as well as the curved edges on the backside. The LCD display does seem very bright with some punchy colors to it, although it's not quite the same full screen experience that you get with the other two handsets. Bezels are noticeably bigger than the other two phones, and the chin is fairly pronounced. So if you ask me, hiding that notch makes this phone look dramatically better because it makes it look more symmetrical. I don't think every single phone needs to have a notch. I mean, why? But then having said that, it's great that you can push all your notifications up into the dead space. I've taken a few shots with the 48 megapixel camera. It's not set at 48 megapixels by default. And if you use AI, then you're going to be shooting at 12 megapixels but so far it seems to be producing good results. Max video quality seems to be 1080p 60 frames per second. Although there is a little note here that says, beautification effects are only available at 720p and wide angle is not supported at 4K or 60 frames per second. Maybe that's just a general message, but there doesn't seem to be any 4K video here. Of course, with most Huawei devices, there is a night mode and under the more tab, there is a pretty comprehensive pro mode as well as the usual Huawei shooting modes and special effects, like super slow motion, that will give you a 16 time slowdown at 480 frames per second. You know what, I really like the P30 Lite. I think a comparison between this and the Mate 20 Lite is definitely on the cards because they seem to be very closely matched. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button for me. I've got lots more phone reviews, unboxings and comparisons on the way. So make sure you're subbed to BTEC so you don't miss out. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's at BTEC. Or add me on Snapchat, david.btech. Thanks for watching guys. My name's David and this is BTEC.